Ready? Yep. Oh, hey, I'm uh, Emerson Ziffel, the makeup effects artist for Wolf Cop. And today we're going to mold Leo. Let's get to work. I think that's snap, it doesn't happen. I will be playing the part of Lou Garou, who becomes Wolf Cop, and therefore I have to have uh, all these molds for prosthetics Me. This stuff smells like mint. We're going to put some lubricant, Vaseline on his eyebrows, and any other facial hair that I feel might bond to the alginate. It's hard to say lubricant without smiling. <laughs> We're gonna put alginate all over his face. It's basically a thick jello that sets up and gives us perfect detail translation from what the texture is of and the form of his face, his ears, his eyes, everything. He phoned me up, I was sitting in my dad's office and this super quiet voice said, Hey, I hear you're, you make zombies and makeup effects for things. Um, would you care to do a zombie movie uh, for me? My name's Lil Dean. It turned out to be one of the best experiences I've, I've ever had. And he approached me when he created the trailer for Wolf Cop. Uh, you know, the rest is history, I guess. One of the most fun things of pre-production on Wolf Cop is going to Emerson's shop. As the makeup effects artist, I'm in charge of uh, blood, guts, appliances, things that change the look of a character. I was Emerson's guinea pig. He put his molding clay or whatever it is all over me and I had straws coming out of my nose and I couldn't breathe. I'm basically in charge of all the really fun, cool stuff with the exception of blowing things up. I was just a sheltered child. I never played with toys. So for Wolf Cop, we ran his appliances and his suit in foam latex. So we did that by whipping latex and inject that into existing molds. And then we would bake it. And then we can work on it where we seam it, patch it. And latex is very easy to apply. There is just an energy and a life in his shop where you see sculptures in progress. It's kind of chaotic, actually. In a way, it's just like playing. I worked closely with Casey Marcus, who's our uh, practical effects guy. We did blood squibs, we collaborated on ideas and all sorts of stuff. This was a great place to just sort of figure out and suss out all the pieces of the film. Emerson uh, obviously is a perfect fit for Wolf Cop. He had his work 24 hours a day but he always delivered. I love doing it no matter how hard it gets it's just tons and tons of fun. But seriously we're making a serious movie here. The last half of production was total madness. There were days where it was all barely done. Blood, sweat, tears, a lot of tears. 